five, four, three, two, one. This is the duck that bringing you set four. When you saw versus KT Roaster, this is a must-win game for KT and flashes in recovery. So KT has opted to send out Perfective, the uh, red zerg at the 12 o'clock position. Against him is Zero, the blue zerg at the um, looks like 8 o'clock position on the map. Neo Essex Zero concentrating hard here. He actually looks a bit pissed off in that uh, he wants revenge here for his rather humiliating 3 0 defeat at the hands of Flash at the uh, MSL Finals. Hopefully that doesn't discourage Zero, that he doesn't go into a sort of slump. We'll see how well he performs in this game. He did defeat both Jadong and Kam uh, to get to the Finals, so his EVZ certainly uh, no slouch anymore. Uh, uh, very strong, and both players sending their overlord scouts in the correct direction. Perfective, on the other hand, is sort of a newish Zerg player. He's played something like 15 games, and of the Zerg versus Zergs he's played, he's lost pretty much every single one of them. So, not a very good player against Zero here. Zero wants to win this game, of course, and close out the set with a clean 4-0 sweep of KT. Perhaps Zero uh, had hoped that... I'm cool coming out here for Zero, by the way. Uh, perhaps Zero had... which is what he used a lot in the uh, MSL series against other Zergs. Not quite sure who that was. I assume that was a Reach fan. Uh, still cheering for Reach from the last game, despite the fact that Reach did not perform too well. That's okay. I mean, he was probably a bit uh, distraught over there by the uh, recent retirement of Yellow. Uh, maybe Reach, you know, in a rare show of emotion, deciding to lose that game. Maybe even in Yellow's honor, 12 hash coming out here from from the uh, uh, player perfective and 9 pool versus 12 hatch, a uh, 0 should be able to win. In fact, Jadong went 12 hatch and lost most of the games. Well, he went 12 hatch every single game against 0, and Jadong lost 3 of them. Only 1 1. And this guy, perfective, is no Jadong. So, things looking extremely dire here for Perfective. Uh, the Zerglings are coming out. They may very well get a speed upgrade. Spawning Pool only now going down for Perfective. This is pretty much over at this point. Unless Perfective can, can somehow find divine inspiration. And uh, a higher being controls his mouse for him. Uh, call it what you will. Uh, God, Savior, or perhaps uh, he, he finds his own inner strength. I don't know. Something else, though, has to control his mouse and keyboard for him to have a shot at beating Zero here. He knows that a nine pool is coming his way. He knows the Zerglings are en route. Uh, perfective, his only real hope is to actually cancel the hatchery and build uh, defenses in his main. He needs to put down the sunken and morph Zerglings and micro his drones as best he can. There's no way he can hope to defend his natural at this point. If he tries, he's just going to lose. I think he'll cancel the hatchery at the last moment. What is Perfective doing? He wants to save the hatchery when his drones is a complete joke. It's going to be absolute uh, massacre here of either the drones or the hatchery just going down. Uh, Zero famously having killed Jadong's hatchery in the deciding game. Well, in the game, winning game, I should say, against Jadong. And now Zero going to work on these drones. The drones not only not mining, but not even microing very well against the Zerglings. Zero with eight Zerglings here targeting down the hatchery. Now he's microing to kill uh, drones, killing two drones and preserving all of his Zerglings. Great control by Zero. Uh, Zerglings are out here for perfective. He might be able to catch one or two of Zero's Zerglings uh, on retreat. No. So Zero not able to kill the hatchery uh, just now. But perfective has been... Um, not mining with those drones for uh, quite some time there, plus he lost two of them. His economy is in uh, quite a bad shape. Perfective trying to make up for this by morphing more drones right now. Zero does have speed upgrade finish. He is trying to sneak his Zerglings by to take a look at what's going on. He's going to use his speedlings to try to pick off more drones. Great control by Zero. Perfective seems completely confused. Another drone going now by these two Zerglings. This is the first Zergling that Zero's lost this entire series, but uh, this entire game rather. Well, also this entire series, because this is the first game in the series. With speed upgrade here for Perfective, Zero is forced to retreat against the superior forces coming out for Perfective. The only thing is, Perfective is not close to putting down his Spire, whereas Zero's Spire is almost finished. Uh, Zero just has to be able to defend and send a few Milas, and this game will be over. Perfective's only chance here is either a uh, concerted Zergling break, which I don't think he's going to be able to break through, or putting down Evolution Chamber and morphing Spores to buy himself some time. 
Uh, Perfective is streaming his Zerglings to Zero's natural, and he might try to break through, but Zero has plenty of Zerglings in defense. No chance that Perfective is going to be able to break through here, and Perfective desperately morphing his Evolution Chamber. In fact, I'm not sure he's going to be able to get any time, and Zero's thinking his Zerglings out, catching Perfective on a where Perfective not being very perfect at all. This is just Destiny that KP's going to lose 4-0 without Flash. This is sort of what, uh, what Destiny is telling what fate is telling uh, KT here that without Flash, no chance, no chance of victory. Kind of sad, really, though. KT having done so well last season, um, winning the uh, Pro League Grand Finals, of course, back then in rather resounding fashion over uh, SKT. I still remember the, the last game where they brought out Flash and all SKT could produce was Chuck. And you knew at that, I mean, you can see the, the look on the face of the SKT coach. He knows he's lost the series at that point. It was, it was kind of, it's very amusing to watch, I have to say. Zero, uh, in firm control of this game, he's put down his expansion. He's going to uh, use his meal list to pick away at this overlord that is in his natural. Even though Perfective has staved off defeat for now, he's fortified his positions with Spore Colony, so Zero is not going to be able to launch a direct attack. Perfective is not even close to being able to threaten Zero of anything. Morphing two spores at each expansion at each base is costing him so many resources, he's only now going to layer. This goes to show how far behind in tech he is. As soon as Zero can get his natural up, and he's also putting down yet another hatchery, uh, which is actually quite aggressive hatchery play, and perfective with a uh, Zergling here trying to pick away at one of Zero's drones. It might be able to kill the drone. Ooh, getting the drone, Zero uh, being a bit, uh, a bit... Well, he could be a bit more careful. He did manage to pull the drone out in time, but if he, he had sent itself instead of continuing to mine, resuming money uh, early, he would be fine. Zero coming in with his mealist, taking a few hits to execute a drone. Good job. Another flyby attack here, killing another drone, and Zero maybe will dart in again and pick off yet another drone. Well, actually, I'm not sure those those attacks actually kill anything. I didn't see a corpse. Okay, that was definitely a confirmed kill by those mealists. Zero uh, harassing the economy of Perfective here quite well, and Zero has clearly shown that he outclasses Perfective in pretty much every way in this game. Perfective sneaking another Zergling by, hopefully this time Zero is going to be a bit more careful and not lose a drone to a single Zergling. Zero launching an attack at the front, Perfective doesn't have enough forces to defeat that, however Zero cleverly sniping a drone, and Zero needs to pay attention with his drone. Good, good there. So Zero saving his drone appropriately and killing that offending Zergling inside his main. Only now is Perfected putting down his Spire. Uh, he is going to be far, far behind Mulus count compared with Zero. And Zero, I think, would be wise to continue his uh, harassment and uh, pick off the odd drone here or there. It's not like Perfected can do anything about it. Uh, Zero can always withdraw his wounded Mulus to to heal a drone getting picked off here from the Mulus. Zero trying to come in here from the north, not quite able to do that. He's going to come in again from the south, picking off a second drone. Uh, great little sniping attacks by Zero here. He's going to kill... Uh, whoa, okay, that drone managing to survive the salvo of glaive worms coming from the Mealus. Again, Zero, it seems he is going to uh, split off his injured Mealus to heal while supplementing his main force with freshly hashed Mealus, and then he can go in for repeated attacks like this. Even if he loses one Mealus, um, and, and kills like three or four drones, that'd be more than worth it, I feel. Perfective will be forced to spend, uh, spend a lot of larva and resources rebuilding the drones. Actually, he has a lot of drones mining now. Zero coming, executing another drone in this uh, flyby attack. So he is doing these constant harassments. Two drones goes down. A uh, third drone, I believe, went down. It's a bit hard to see under all that uh, creep and the overlords. Fourth drone going down. Scourge coming out here for Perfective. Finally managed to kill the first, uh, the first Mealus of Zeros that he's managed to kill this entire game. Zero probably with a dozen Mealus or so, although some are uh, quite damaged. That, but uh, he's done uh, quite a bit of damage to Perfective's economy at this point. Zero with such a superiority in Mealus that I don't know what Perfective can do to catch up to it. Perfective has managed to, to drone himself up quite a bit. That Mealus taking a Scourge hit. Plus one attack upgrade is also finished, by the way. 
uh, Zero might be uh, going for a direct frontal assault here in conjunction with uh, with his Milis in conjunction with the Zerglings at the natural. Zero is rallying all sorts of Zerglings to the middle of the map. He is uh, using his Milis quite well. He's picked off both those Scourge with uh, his group Milis. Effective, it looks like only with four or five Milis. Not going to be able to match Zero in air strength anytime soon. Zero coming with his Zerglings for an attack. And now Zero splitting off part of his forces to run into the main. He's using his Milis to hold back the main force of Perfective, and he's uh, killed a good number of Zerglings. Unfortunately, Zero's attack not accomplished too much. Now Zero was the second force of Zerglings going to attack uh, the, the drones mining gas at the natural for Perfective, but Perfective with his Mulus there able to fend that off. That's Borg Colony with only 240 something HP left. Zero might potentially even be willing to use his Mulus to finish that off. If you can finish off uh, those Borg Colonies in the main, it'll be GG. Nothing Perfective can do to save his main base. Zero will be able to kill all the tech there and it will be over. Zero again, looks like he is going to try another uh, Dual point on attack, he's got a few Zerglings that he's sending in the front. Zero is going to focus down this Spore Colony, he's going to attack the second Spore Colony, perfected bringing all his Mealists to try to force engagement, but too late! Those Mealists not going to be able to do anything against the vastly superior Air Force of Zero's Scourge coming in to try to even up the score. One Scourge landing, but just not enough forces, it seems. Zero, even though he took uh, quite a few losses in that attack, is not going to mind. He just has way too many more Mealists. Perfective staying in this game as long as possible, buying time for more Scourge to come out. Zero uh, getting another Scourge, uh, uh, failing to stop that one Scourge, although he killed another Scourge. Regardless, GG coming from Perfective there. Perfective just not able to deal with Zero after Zero has taken the early economic lead after devastating Perfective's economy with the 9 pool versus the 12 hatch and Wujin Stars waiting for zero. Excellent, um, excellent play from the Wujin Star players. Thank you for watching.